hello students welcome back to my channel today we are going to discuss active and passive voice and we are going to pay uh, special attention at uh, future perfect tense uh, though future pa perfect tense is not quite used in written or spoken english yet it is essential uh, for the students to at least know about it and to know how these sentences can be changed from active to passive and vice versa and it is also essential to identify uh, this particular tense so let us get started now future perfect tense uh, generally denotes a particular time uh, in the future when a task will be completed so in such a case we generally get sentences like these i will have written a letter now this particular sentence is in its active form so i here is the subject will have written is our verb and written is our main verb will have indicates that this particular verb is in future perfect tense will have written what a letter a letter is our object in this particular sentence now how uh, how can we change this particular sentence to its passive form now uh there are certain rules uh now the object in the active sentence that is the object in the active sentence is a letter it will become in the passive sentence it will become the subject as we already know uh from the previous videos that we had discussed a letter will be the subject now will have written is in future perfect tense so when we change it to its passive form we bring in the word been b double e n so our sentence will look something like this a letter will have been written by me i was the subject in the active form so now i will become the object in the passive sentence and it will change from i to me uh, i will repeat the answer once again for you all to follow a letter will have been written by me this will be your answer so let us look at another sentence in order to understand this better he will have cooked the food now in this particular sentence also we can note that he is the subject will have cooked cooked is our main verb will have indicates that the verb is in its future perfect tense will have cooked what the food is our object so now let us try and transform this particular sentence into a uh, passive form the food which was the object will now become the subject in the passive sentence the food will have cooked will uh, will also undergo a change we will bring in the word been b double e n so our verb will be will have been cooked by him so he was the subject in our active sentence now it becomes the object so it becomes him so i repeat this particular sentence for you all again the food will have been cooked by him so these are the changes that you need to note it is quite simple though it is rarely used in written or spoken english another thing that you need to remember is future continuous tense and future perfect continuous tense do not have a passive form so please remember this please keep this in mind i hope this video was helpful if you have any question regarding any portion of active and passive series please ask your questions and by writing it in the comment section if you like my work 
please like share and subscribe to my channel i will again meet you all in the next video thank you